Now, very important to recognise, whether you're a spirit or a person on earth, you can progress in the spirit world without returning to earth. Right? This is when, when a lot of spirits hear this, they are often relieved. Because they had a terrible life on earth the first time, and many of them don't want to come back. And so they are relieved often that they don't have to come back. There's no need at all to come back no matter what condition you arrive in the spirit world. No need whatsoever to come back to earth. And in fact, the person in this condition cannot come back to earth. At all. Because they still have their spirit body attached to their soul, and it's a physical impossibility to stuff that spirit body into another spirit body. And so, which was what would they would need to be able to do to return. So it's actually a physical impossibility to return to Earth. And when you're in this condition, this condition, this condition, right, and, and right the way up to the soul union condition, it's impossible to come back to Earth. Right? And that's why I say nobody's come back to Earth historically, right? up until very, very recently. Okay. Now, that brings us questions of, all right then, why do so many people on Earth believe in reincarnation and what are the actual things that are actually happening? Doesn't it? So, let's look at the reasons why people believe in reincarnation. Carolla earlier mentioned one, and that is the old soul concept, which is little children saying things and you know, speaking about things that are way beyond what they've ever been taught or way beyond what they have actually had to learn themselves. So how does that happen? That's a question we need to ask. Right? Any other things? Someone mentioned yesterday um, regression. Sure. Um, past, life past life regression. So we write that down where people go through a process where they seem to have had a different life than the one that they currently are having, yes? And they seem to remember bits and pieces of that life, yes? So that's uh, another thing that causes people to believe in reincarnation. Is there any others that you can think of? Sorry? Which have you experienced that you think that that you mean deja vu? Oh, okay, deja vu, yes, deja vu. Sorry, I'm Australian, so... <laughs> <laughs> so, a feeling that you've been there before. A feeling that you know this person, you've met them before. That kind of feeling? Yes? Okay. Any others? Not only the feeling, but that you actually find your place, in a, your, your place around when you walk in, in a new place, and you actually know how to walk. Okay, in. yes. And okay. you recognise... Where you are. So can we separate that and maybe call that a knowledge? Yeah. Of, uh, should we just bunch it all together and call it things? Persons, places, or whatever. That, that seems to just be there even though you've never been there before. Yes? So a knowledge of things, or, or should we call that a... Um, um, well, knowledge of things, we all know what that's referring to, yes? So we'll, we'll leave it like that. So, any other? Uh, Christine? Uh, memories, maybe. Like, you think they're yours, and by All right, yeah, memories. five. Memories. Of a different life. Of a different... Life. Yes. Um, uh, uh -huh. They believe that the talents you you have uh, you have sort of trained them up. You have. That oh, that you've chosen your parents. No. no? no that uh, if I if I'm very good at painting, ah, I yes. have had very. I have trained that for different lives to be able to be good at painting. Oh, okay, like natural abilities. Yeah. You're sort of 
that it's not uh, created by God, but me, myself, has, uh, through my desires, yeah. through my lives, uh, uh, train, train them up. Yes, okay, yeah. The karma at the station you're brought into, like what, yeah, how, like... Yeah, so now we're getting down to philosophies, aren't we? So you could say, seven, there's this idea of karma, <laughs> Uh, if I was bad in a previous life, then I have a worse station in this life, um, or even I'm um, an insect in this life, it could be that bad. Um, does that make sense? Or, so this idea that whatever I've done in the past life, I now have to bring forward into this life and work my way through somehow. To yeah. justify why this life is so painful. To justify painful. why this life is so painful, yes. Or why bad things happen to people like they're murdered because of them. Or why bad things happen, yeah. So now we're talking really, these are now philosophies now, more than actual experiences. Can you see the difference? Uh, this is all actual experiences, where people actually have an experience. This is now more of a philosophy that tries to explain these experiences. Yeah? So karma trying to explain the pain. So as an explanation of pain. I would say that six also is a philosophy more than an experience. Um, true, because we can explain that with other exactly. methods, can't we? Yes. 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 Yeah. Although, although this is very interesting because some people you know, three years of age, they can compose symphonies. Why is that? Yes. Well, you know, obviously something's going on and we need to understand what. You know, a lot of people will say, oh, this is because in a past life they were a composer or something like that. But there are other explanations that are possible to... How can you explain that we're more... Than... Sorry, I didn't get How can start. you explain that, 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 for example, Mozart, how he could componate music so young? And I'll explain that as I go through these explanations. Let's summarise the explanations first. And then let's look at each one and see what other possible alternatives there might be. Yep. I've met someone before. It goes along with good knowledge. Or deja vu. Yeah. Yep. Met someone before. Yep. Anything else that anybody can think of? Feelings according to all your life experience. Feelings. Feelings mm -hmm. according to... All your life experience. Oh, like a memory of your of being a baby, or a memory of being in the womb, or a memory of being born. Perhaps a memory about persons that you meet and you think that it's a person from earlier life. Yes, so I, wouldn't that come under some of these headings? Knowledge of things that you shouldn't have a knowledge of, or a deja vu? Yeah. A memory of passing into the spirit world? Okay, yes. That's a, that's a unique one, isn't it? So it comes under memories, but, but of a different life. Mm. But uh, yeah, of passing, the actual process of dying and mm. passing, yes? Yeah. It's, a, it's a very important part of this, actually, these memories that come up in people that are a process of dying. And there's a very significant reason why they come up, and we'll talk about them. Yes? Um, I always had the like, trailer pictures. It would come as a clip. Yeah. I would see for like a minute. Yeah. But it always seemed, I thought it was my yeah. past life experience, but I never saw myself in it. Right. And I would see different things happen. It's like, like you're looking out somebody else's eyes. Right. Like, yeah, an experience. it was like a move. Like it would play for a minute and I'd be like, oh, wow. Yeah. I, must, I must have lived there to know that. So that would probably come under some of these things, wouldn't it? Under that heading? Memories of a different life, or pictures of a different life, knowledge of things that you don't know. But it was always like really short and really short, like stills, almost. Yeah. 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 Or movies. Uh, I had an experience that when I was small, uh, I, I born in Peru, and around the age of five, I had Swedish shoes. I got Swedish shoes, the clock yeah, yeah, yeah. and I love them. Yeah. And at the age of ten, I got my first LP, and was ABBA music. Was it Swedish? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so there's the Swedish connection that you don't understand. Yes. Yes. And then I, I'm here now. <laughs> <laughs> it, it brought you here. Yes. So, so when you say eight connections, we don't understand. Connections we don't understand. Do we have any <coughs> body contacts before we came here? 
Sorry, did have we? Have not some holy contact. You mean you have a memory of that? In, in the spiritual world or something like that. Right. And we made some holy contacts. I want to go to this life, I want this prayer, I can get on it. So there's a feeling of making a choice yeah. about the life you wanted. Yeah. Yes? Yep. Yeah. Let's put that down. So a feeling of, shall we call them pre, pre-human life choices? Of pre-earth, perhaps. Like, excuse me, like we have some person, before we come to this world, we have a person and then we make a contact with them. And uh, he said, uh, you are just agreed with one naked, or this is a little show to hard for you, or something like that. Do you understand? Yeah, I understand. Yeah. Uh, oh, so we call it pre, uh, pre-earth life choices. Yep. Yeah. There's a word uh, called precognition. Precognition, yes. Yeah. We have a lot of fortunes so yeah. yeah. Yes, yep, I agree. Yeah. When you see a person change before your eyes. Okay, very, very good one. So, 10. Um, personality switches. Shall we call it that? And even the appearance seems to change. Where, where all of a sudden something happens and the personality switches. Yep. Good. And how about one like this? Uh, a lot of people uh, have observed that when a newborn child is born, sometimes um, they seem very similar to a person who's recently died in terms of their nature. Yes? Have any of you noticed that in your own family? So, so what would we call that? Uh, similar? Uh, resemblance. Resemblance traits, shall we call it? Resemblances? Or resemblance? A and C? A and C. See, I told you I wasn't very good in English. <laughs> Now that's a fair bit of what we would say is evidence, isn't it? Okay, so the question then becomes, well, is there alternative explanations for such evidence? Doesn't it? And with every single case there is. But, but most of us have been completely closed to the alternative explanations because of a number of emotional reasons. Now what I'm going to do is discuss the alternative explanations and then, if you wish, we can discuss the emotional reasons for each alternative explanation. Right? In terms of, or the emotional reasons for each belief. So let's start, shall we?